It's not what we do for God, but what God does for us. And we have to remember that we are the instruments that uh, actually it is the work of the Holy Spirit. That is why we remove uh, competition, we remove pride, we remove whatever uh, self, uh, how do you call that now, uh, inclusive or self um, descriptions that we may have about ourselves. Because it's the work of the Holy Spirit. We are only the instruments. Uh, uh, sister, yes. Not a subject, but a person to not a class, but an experience, not a faith community, and that's just 10 months of faith formation. All right, lifelong uh, faith formation. Catechesis and religious education involves a life, uh, lifelong formation. And it is not about what we do, it is about an encounter. So the word encounter is very, very famous in the document of Benedict XVI, namely the Verbum Domini. The word encounter has been used several times and this refers to encounter with Christ. Therefore, when we speak of new evangelization and encounter with Christ, new evangelization includes ushering our uh, students and our audience, our people, to an encounter with Christ. But before we can usher them to an encounter with Christ, we ask ourselves whether we have encountered Christ. Because the experience of encountering Christ makes a lot of difference in the way we live, in the way we deliver our message, and in our lifestyle, most of all. Okay, thank you, Paul. Okay, let's move to Dr. Domingo. Dr. Domingo on Christian leadership. Yes, Father. Leadership is about influencing people beyond routine compliance. All right, mainly when you speak about leadership, it's mainly when we speak about encounter with Christ, that is encounter with the person, no? So when we speak about leadership, are we able to influence people to have an encounter with Christ? So he spoke about leadership mainly as influencing people. What else? Yes, father. I brother. As a as a leader in our respective organizations, you should have a clear vision of ourselves, our person, and a very clear vision of our uh, organization. Yeah, we are the instruments. So first of all, kilala mo ba sarili mo? Who are you? That is why we have also psychological uh, topics included in our in our lectures. And then, of course, you have to know where you're going. What is your goal? What is the vision of the church as is spoken of by Monsignor? Do we know? And are we part of this vision? Do we include ourselves as part of this vision? Not only in terms of uh, occupation, but in terms of mission or vocation. All right. Third. Yes, Father. Religion is a team builder, not a team destroyer. <laughs> yes, uh, a leader is a team builder, not a team destroyer. Very short sentence, Father. I'm uh, pregnant with meaning. A team builder, that is why it is very, very important to have an understanding of people because sometimes there are conflicting personalities within an organization and you are there in the middle and you have to build bridges rather than add to the rumor or add to the issue at hand. So and understanding yourself, understanding people, understanding people vis-a-vis -vis their background can help in understanding people because every person has a background, every person has loads he's carrying. So you can understand a person better when you know that person better. That is why I think it was Bishop Pavilion who was insisting on uh, knowing Christ deeper because when you know Christ deeper, your encounter will be better. Your uh, uh, faith will be uh, deeper also as well. All right? Yes, ma'am. Your personal influence is very important. Sabi niya, remove this and other qualities or knowledge point. Personal influence. Yes. Interpersonal relationship is very important in our ministry. We cannot have uh, the catechetical ministry and religious education ministry without interacting with people, without interacting with persons. Uh, who was that who said that when you isolate yourself, I think Father Barrow, when you isolate yourself from the others, then the temptation begins. No? Or was it Monsi? 
No, I don't remember anymore, but one of our speakers pointed that out in relation to the temptation of Jesus. Tempted, Jesus was tempted tao kasi yan ang midrash na yun, ano? Um, kasi nag-isolate siya, nagpapas siya, nag siya, kaya yan, na-tempt siya. But he was able to overcome temptation, showing to us that temptation can be overcome. How do we teach that to the children? That was also the topic of Father Leander. How do we uh, put across what we have learned in the language, in the culture, in the experience of people whom we teach. What we learn here is not supposed to be given uh, word for word, no? verbatim to the audience that will be given to us because uh, it is given to us on the premise that we are all leaders and that there is a basic understanding of what is being presented. When you present that uh, in the same way to others who do not have a background, it may be misconstrued, misunderstood, and therefore the implementation will also be uh, a mistake. So it might be wrong also. All right, let's go to the next. Who is the next? Ah, Mother Aleo, Mother Bert Aleo. Lima yan, lima, kasi uh, more than 200 ang kanyang slides. <laughs> so, what are your significant learnings? Yes, Father. All right. The life and the dignity of the human person is included in the uh, social teachings of the church, and the social teachings of the church should be understood vis-a-vis -vis the signs of the times, which has been also touched by Monsi when he spoke about uh, the church, because the church does not live outside the world but the church is in the world and therefore we have to understand uh, the teachings of the church in the light of the uh, what is happening today and we have to understand what is happening and deal with what is happening in the light of the teachings of the church okay that's one number two yes father uh, about the their pastoral cycle yes uh, data Okay, he has given us he has given us a methodology which we can also use for lecture divina. The word is dare, D A R E. D is standing for data, collect and uh, select data, research data, and then after that analyze the data, analyze the data uh, together with others, and then you have to check whether the data is uh, correct or not. And then reflection. Sometimes we don't have time for reflection, but this is very important in order to come up with a uh, good uh, implementation or what is the last <coughs> engagement. No? So reflection and then engagement. All right. All right. Third, yes, Father. Father Paringberg also presented to us the basic principles of Catholic social teaching. Yes, the basic principles of Catholic teaching, Catholic uh, social teachings, has been presented to us again. No, I think that uh, Monsi had that also, and everybody should uh, know that to better appreciate the social teachings of the church and also to see the connection of the social teachings of the church with the life of Christ, because sometimes we compartmentalize that. Actually, the teachings of the church flow from who Jesus is, what he stands for, why did he become human, and so on and so forth. Okay? All right, that is three, four. Oh, marami talaga. Yes, sister? In connection with what you were saying, yeah. sabi niya, ang, ang Kristiyano ay may pakialam sa nangyayari sa mundo. Kasi si Kristo ay nagpakatao dahil may pakialam siya sa atin. All right, we don't see that, ano? Uh, sometimes, no? We think that everything is spiritual. Nakialam siya sa mga nangyayari sa mundo at ang pinangyayari dito sa mundo dahil siya ay nasa mundo. At siya nga yung ating example of what it is to be human. Becoming human together, no? So, hindi siya, hindi niya tinakbuhan kung ano yung mga pangyayari, pinangyayari nung panahon niya kundi hinarap niya yung mga pangyayaring yon At alam natin naman na ang pagharap natin sa mga pangyayari, may mga consequences yan. But the question is, are we ready to face them, including the consequences that go with it? Uh, sabi pa niya, basang-basa ng aming ano, reputasyon bilang mga pare. Kayo naman mga madre. Kayo naman ang humarap sa mga ano, issues ngayon, sabi niya. 
Pero we always believe in faith that there are always a few good men, di ba? Hindi naman, it's, it's always dangerous to uh, absolutize and say all priests are like that, all are like that. That is unfair to the others who are struggling and trying to be really, to live up their, ano, their vocation. Opo. So, and that is why we said uh, we pray for, uh, for especially for our priests here who are present here. Di ba, who uh, are present here for their holy perseverance, right? And to be genuine, as we call that now, witnesses of the word, word, the incarnate word, capital letter, W. Yes, yes, Father. Wow, it's part of your Father. Yes, Father. You have been quiet all the while. Kaya ka lang recite, lang recite. At talaga naman. Father. Nabensyon ko niya yung ugnayan daw po ng loob ng tao hindi sa physical, hindi sa kalooban. Alright. Our connections with one another is not the physical connection. There can be physical connection without connection of the kalooban, right? Yes. Oh, hindi nila alam. Yes. No, so, yung connections natin ay yung connection ng kalooban, which is, uh, ang metaphor na ginamit yan ay yung, ano, Islam. yung... Islam. Yung ba tawag dito? Yung gut. Yung gut level. O, oh, diba? Kaya, ay yung ating pero dyan, si, ano, si, um, John de Mesa, always, always he speaks about kaloob, kalooban. No? Uh, we have, according to him, we have to translate that in our own language, in our own cultures, to be able to understand that. Like for example, among the Ilocanos, I think the word, the equivalent word for that is nakum. Nakum. No? Loob. Nakum. All right, one more, one more. Those who did not just speak. Yes, my dear. In connection with that, ma'am, our religion is, sabi niya, Christianity is interested to hold human being, not only soul. We are not spirits. We are, we have our physicalities also, physical uh, uh, no, entity, and that is why we have to take care of that also, as uh, mentioned by the two last speakers. All right. Ano pa? Yes, ma'am? Politics should be part of our delegacies. Politics, no? Politics sometimes we have a negative idea of what we mean by politics, but according to scholars, politics come from the word police, and police means society. So if a police is the society, and politics means no involvement in the society, we have to be involved because we don't separate our spiritual life with our, from our political life. We are the voters. And at the same time, we are the ones uh, involved in the church also, so we don't make a mixed division to that. We are holistic personalities. Okay, now we go to uh, Dr. Divine. Dr. Divine. We call her Divine here in school. Dr. Divine. Because data something to do now with that. People management. Management of people, management of finances. Self-management also. Yes, Father. <laughs> wow, siya lang nagtasang kamay. Sige, Father. Go, go, go. He, he, he made mention of the job description and job specification. Yeah, job description and job specification is very important in an organization so that there will be no well, clashes, no conflicts. Yes. Uh, what you are supposed to do and what you have to do should be very clear to you from the very beginning for legal as well as organizational purposes. Yes, brother. Uh, in parish, we know that money is seems to be the the prime mover in the parish. But she showed a new perspective in motivating our our members, in directing our members, and directing our organizations. Okay. Money and finances, of course, very important. But there are other ways by which we can motivate and move forward as an organization. All right. So money is important, but it's not the most important. When you have the gift to be able to motivate others to contribute more, the 
mas maganda, di ba? So, how to be able to have that charism to motivate people ano, to be more generous? Hindi lang tayo ay may charism na ganyan. So, what is the alternative? You can assign somebody with that charism kasi iba-iba naman yung gifts natin, di ba? Yes, Father? Uh, Ms. Design also discussed or presented to us the motivation, which is not only the monetary, but the mastery, autonomy, and purpose especially presented in the video. Ah, uh, okay. In the video, yes. Very good. Yes, Father? Um, hindi ko pwedeng sabihin sa ating mga workers at sa uh -huh. pagkis na, uh -huh. okay, magtrabaho kayo na magtrabaho, tutan meron mga langit na reward. Ah, uh ah, -huh. ah. Uh Kundi -huh. kailangan din natin silang bigyan kasi ng kanilang pangangailangan. Okay, very good. So, since we are not, uh, we are not spirits, but we are body persons, we do not, um, disqualify the fact that our workers you know, have needs, human needs that have to be addressed to in a human way. All right. Yes, uh, divide, I divide. <laughs> I know that she always calls the church workers or us as uh, workers in the vineyard. Uh, it's only uh, bringing the workers to the reflection that this is not our business, but it's God's business. All right. Our work is God's business. That has been reiterated by several speakers, thanks, thanks to them. And therefore, our focus is not only on the money aspect. These are, these are the, re the rewards that come when we put God first. Kasi sa Bible naman, it says there, uh, Matthew 5, you cannot serve both God and money. One has to be over the other. All right. Let's go to the last. Uh, yes. When you manage the people, kailangan masaya. Ah, uh, masaya. Uh, happiness at work is the operational model. Yeah. Happiness at, at work is the operational model. And uh, this has many benefits, not only for you as the uh, leader or the supervisor, but also for your uh, for the people with whom you serve. And um, it keeps you healthy. It keeps you at peace. It keeps you, you know, away from the hospital. <laughs> Sister, uh, ah, yes. I uh, in reaching a common goal, it is very important to work as a team. Work as a team that was manifested, and uh, that was also shown to us by Dr. Domingo in terms of the parable, parable of the geese, or the story of the geese. Uh, partnership, teamwork is very, very important in order to advance together. Uh, because this is not our work, we keep repeating that. It's the work of the Lord and for the Lord, that is why we, we grow together, we move together. That's why a leader has to be able to uh, consolidate his or her people together so that they can, they, they will not be fighting. No. All right, the last one, Dr. I, Attorney... Reginald. Attorney Reginald, kahapon. Legal cases naman ito. Uh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, was the, <laughs> was the common expression. So he's just, he's just saying that this is what is thought, this is what is being done. But the, at the end of the day, that means to say, at the end, ikaw ang mag-decide. The decision belongs to you. And the consequences also belongs to you. The decision belongs to you, but be ready for the consequences. So there are legal terms that he used. There are also uh, what do you call that? church terms or uh, we say, yeah, um, what is legal is not necessarily moral. We have to be aware of that, no? And that is why he was saying sometimes that is the dilemma of our attorneys or lawyers because you know that it is immoral to say that your client is guilty because they made the oath that they have to defend their client. But at the same time, deep inside, they know that the, the client is guilty, but they cannot do that. So what to do? So he said, well, you make the decision nga. And that is why he said, he said to me privately, I admire people like Jokno and so on, statesmen, no? Because for them, there is no compromise. What is wrong is wrong, what is right is right. And these are the kinds of people we need in the government. What is right is right, what is wrong is wrong. There are, of course, um, collateral damages. No? that are involved there. There are risks that are involved there. Like, for example, you tell the truth and you lose your job. Um, I will not tell you the name, but there was someone who said, okay, we will help you, we will give uh, this much for the Bible, etc., etc. And then when they wanted to cut that risk, there in Baguio, the Bishop of Baguio asked our help, can you help us uh, sign this, do this document that uh, 
you are against the cutting of the trees of God. Of course, I'm from Baguio, so uh, the, the trees are close to our hearts, so we sign. Then we got a call. Uh, is it not that we're helping you? In, okay, you can get back your money for heaven's sake. So uh, there are things that we have to we have to sacrifice for our beliefs, for our commitments. Okay, so I will present my summary before we go for the break. Huh? How to do this? I wanted to. I wanted to do it in a movie form, but it can you read? This is included in your package. No? And I will add some more if I will have more time. The past few years gifted us with two popes who gave birth to apostolic exhortations of great importance in today's disturbed world. Verbum Domini and Evangelii Gaudium are like bells that keep ringing in attentive ears and minds of Christians who got hold of the books. Among them are our leaders in Eche and the De La Salle and the De La Salle brothers who joined hands in a spirit of collaboration to dream together and look forward to a better Philippines through catechesis and religious education. Meetings were held to design a certificate program which is now called Certificate in Catechetical Leadership and Supervision. A roster of biographies of professors with particular competencies were scored to choose the persons qualified to influence the would-be audience of the design program. After a laborious scrutiny, the following professors were named, Monsignor Jerry Santos with his licensure 